Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to this month's clothes test. Today we'll be reading from an article titled "Kangaroos Can Talk to People." Kangaroos, everyone, are animals from Australia. Mostly, I believe there are also kangaroos in New Guinea.、Hmm. But one way or another, kangaroos are animals that hop around and carry their babies in pouches, like little bags on their bellies. It's very cute. Oh, so cute! Some people believe that kangaroos look like big rabbits. Giant rabbits. <laughs> right, giant rabbits that might just. Hit you or kick you? <laughs> Now, Hanny, <laughs> kangaroos actually don't box. Apparently, though, they might be able to talk. Talk. No joke. Get this. The title of this month's lesson is "Kangaroos Can Talk to People." Now, I can imagine a kangaroo boxing or hopping around and. Kicking someone, maybe. Could it kick me too? <laughs> But a, a kangaroo talking. What would a kangaroo say, especially to a person? Hanny, that's you can put your hands down. <laughs> All right. Hanny, that's a very good question, and, and lucky you will be answering that question. Yep. Today we'll be learning what kangaroos say, what they say to people. Cool, right? Yes, indeed. How exciting!、Uh -huh. Let's not wait. Let's get started on today's lesson. Good idea. <laughs> First, though, we're going to need to go over some vocabulary. Then we'll come back and start reading this month's very interesting clothes test lesson on talking kangaroos. Today's 课文标题是 Kangaroos can talk to people. 袋鼠能与人交谈。啊、嗯，这真的还假的、啊？那我们先来看第一个单词，再看看是怎么回事。Kangaroo, kangaroo 就是袋鼠，它是个名词。那么袋鼠有育儿袋，有这个 pouch， 就是育儿袋。它们还有一个明显的特征是 ，kangaroos have powerful back legs. Kangaroos have powerful back legs. 袋鼠有着强而有力的后腿。好，课文一开始写到说，一般来说啊，野生动物会对人类敬而远之。不过，澳洲有一群特别的袋鼠，却会跟人类交谈。那这项研究里面呢，科学家就给他们一个装有食物的密闭箱子。当他们打不开箱子的时候，就会跟科学家来进行沟通。这边有三个单字 ：general。General， 它可以用来形容是一般的、普遍的或是大致的。不过在课文里面，它当名词表示一般，我们就可以用 in general 来表达一般而言、一般来说。例如 ，In general, children and teenagers need more sleep than adults. In general, children and teenagers need more sleep. Than adults. 一般来说啊，儿童和青少年会比成人需要更多的睡眠。下一个单词 wild, wild 是指野生的，它是个形容词。例如 ，Tom enjoys taking pictures of wild birds. Tom enjoys taking pictures of wild birds. Tom 喜欢拍野生鸟类。最后一个单词 communicate, communicate 表示沟通，它是个动词。例如。They communicate with each other through sign language. They communicate with each other through sign language. 他们之间是透过手语来沟通的。好，那现在看完单词例句，我们来读课文吧。Kangaroos can talk to people. In general, wild animals stay away from humans. They want to have nothing to do with people. However, a special group of kangaroos in Australia acted in a different way. According to a study, the kangaroos talked to people. In the study, scientists gave them a closed box with food. When the animals couldn't open the box, they communicated with the scientists. The kangaroos looked at the scientists. Then they looked back at the food. It was clear that they were gesturing for help. The scientists were happily surprised. Explanation one. Welcome back to this month's clothes test. 
News flash, folks. Kangaroos can talk to people. Now, one thing. I, I keep doing this. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, the word talk in the title is in quotes. Mm. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that, well, the word talk here, it doesn't really have a literal meaning. Okay, so kangaroos might be able to communicate at a high level, but do they really talk? Not really. So don't expect to have a conversation with a kangaroo anytime soon. But hey, the fact that they can talk at all is pretty cool. Yes, it is. Most animals do not talk. In fact, most wild animals would never come close enough to a human to ever talk to them. Right. In general, our article begins, wild animals stay away from humans. Yes, most wild animals are scared of humans. Indeed, they want to people. Your options are A. Say something to B. Give everything to C. Have nothing to do with or D. Go everywhere with. 好，题目的意思是他们想空格人类。那么选项 A say something to 什么什么表示和什么什么来说一些事。B give everything to 表示把所有的东西给什么。C have nothing to do with 表示跟什么毫无关系。D go everywhere with 什么什么表示跟什么什么去每个地方。那由于课文前一句提到。野生动物会远离人类，所以最适合选项应该是 C。Have nothing to do with 来表达说动物想跟人类毫无关系，完全不想跟人类有接触。So the sentence should read: They want to have nothing to do with people. There you go. Wild animals would rather not be around people. Have any animals ever stuck around any of us long enough to have a conversation with us? No way. Hanny, that's true, in general. But apparently, there is an exception to this rule. However, we learn. A special group of kangaroos in Australia have acted in a different way. Yep, a study. The kangaroos talked to people. And your options are A, because of; B, in order to; C, except for; or D, according to. 好，题目的意思是空格一项研究。这群袋鼠会跟人类交谈。那由于空格后方是名词，所以我们要选择后面可以接名词的选项。A because of 后面接名词表示因为什么什么。B in order to 后面要接原形动词来表达为了做某事。C except for 后面接名词表示除了什么什么之外。D According to 后面接名词可以表达根据怎么样怎么样。好，那课文应该是要引用一项研究来说明澳洲有一群特别的袋鼠想跟人类有接触，会跟人类交谈。那从语义上来判断 ，according to 最适合了。According to a study 怎么样怎么样就可以表达根据一项研究怎么样怎么样。那这题的答案我们就要选 D。According to。So the sentence should read: According to a study, the kangaroos talked to people. Now, this does sound good, but I need to know more. How did scientists get these kangaroos to talk? What did these kangaroos say? And how did they say it? Did they say, "Hey, how you doing, pal? <laughs> Pally boy, wow. scientist." <laughs> Slow down, Jeff.、Okay. I'm sure we'll find answers to your questions once we read on. First things first. Let's learn what scientists did to get kangaroos to talk in this study. Good idea. In the study, scientists gave them a box with food. 
And your options are A, close, B, closing, C, closed, or D, closes. 好，题目的意思是，在这项研究中，科学家给他们一个装有食物的空格箱子。那四个选项分别是 close 的不同变化型。来看选项 A。Close 可以当动词来表达关上、合上，也可以当形容词念作 close， 表示亲近的、靠近的。B closing 它是动词 close 的现在分词，那它也可以当形容词用来表达最后的结尾的。C closed 它是动词 closed 过去式和过去分词，那它也可以用来当形容词来描述是关上的、紧闭的。D Closes， 它是动词 close 的第三人称单数动词。那空格后方呢是个名词 box， 所以我们现在是要用形容词来修饰它。好，那么选项 D closes 就可以先删除不考虑喽。好，那我们再偷看一下课文下一句，它有提到说，当袋鼠打不开箱子时，会跟科学家进行沟通。那从语义上来判断。这边应该就是要表达箱子它是关上的、紧闭的，所以这题的答案要选 C closed 比较恰当。So the sentence should read: In the study, scientists gave them a closed box with food. That's it. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. The scientists gave the kangaroos food. That doesn't sound like much of a study to me. Well, Jeff, you're missing. <laughs> you're missing an important detail here.、Mm. The box was closed. This made all the difference. You see, when the animals couldn't open the box, they communicated with the scientists. I get it. That's when the kangaroos began talking. They probably said something like, "Hey, man, I'm hungry. Help me open this box of delicious food, cause I'm hungry." They didn't really say that, but they kind of did ask for help. Well, more on that soon after we take a break. That is right. So let's go ahead and take a break, but don't go away. We'll be back soon. soon. Too. Welcome back. Hanny and I are about to start reading from the final part of this month's closed test lesson. Again, the title of this month's article is "Kangaroos Can Talk to People." Before the break, we read about a study. In this study, kangaroos. Talked to people. No, they didn't say I'm hungry. Give me a hamburger or something like that. A hamburger? Do you, you have a hamburger? That actually sounds pretty good. Anyway, it's when given a closed box of food, maybe with a hamburger inside, these kangaroos communicated with the scientists. So no, they did not talk, but they did. Talk, you could say, but here's the thing: What did they actually do when they were talking? Well, when given the closed box of food, the kangaroos looked at the scientists whenever they couldn't open the box.、Mm -hmm. Then they looked back at the food, which is pretty cool. Why? Because. And your options are: A. It was clear that they were gesturing for help. B. That said nothing about their purpose to the scientists. C. It showed that they weren't hungry at all. Or D. They weren't giving any signs of trouble. 好，这个题目是在考我们对上下文的了解。我们要选出最适合的句子。来看选项 A。It was clear that they were gesturing for help. 他们显然是在做事，要寻求协助。那么 ，it is clear that 怎么样怎么样就可以表达很明显、显然怎么样怎么样。还有 gesture 在这边是动词，来表达以动作来示意。
。好，那么 B。That said nothing about their purpose to the scientists. 那个行为没有对科学家表达他们的目的。那么 purpose 这个名词就是目的。C. It showed that they weren't hungry at all. 那表示他们一点也不饿。那么 not 什么什么 at all 就表示一点也不怎么样。D. They weren't giving any signs of trouble. 他们没有表现出遇到困难的迹象。那么 sign 在这边它是当迹象、征兆来解释。好，那么课文前面提到说，当袋鼠打不开箱子，会跟科学家进行沟通。这群袋鼠呢，就会先看着科学家，然后再回头看看食物。这样的举动很显然是在向科学家求助，所以最适合答案是 A. It was clear that they were gesturing for help. So the sentence should read. It was clear that they were gesturing for help. So, these kangaroos were saying, "Help me! I can't get to the food in this box. Help me open this thing. Maybe with your help, I can get this box open and eat some of this delicious <laughs> food." They were saying all of this without words, though. Right? They didn't say this with words. They said this by gesturing, which is still pretty good for an animal. Yeah, I agree. And hey, one way or another, the scientists were not expecting this. Seeing this made them happy. The final sentence of our lesson says the scientists were surprised. Your options are A, rarely; B, happily; C. Usually or D equally. 好，题目的意思是科学家空格感到意外。这题是在考我们副词。先来看选项 A. Rarely， 它表示罕见的、稀少的。B. Happily 表示快乐的、幸福的。C. Usually 表示通常的。D equally 表示平均的、相等的。那么科学家应该乐于见到袋鼠有这样的反应，会向人类来沟通求助。所以从语义上来看，最适合的副词是 happily。其他选项像是科学家他们罕见的感到意外、通常感到意外，或是平均的感到意外，这些语义都不符合。所以我们的答案要选 B happily。So the sentence should read: The scientists were Happily surprised. There you go. Okay, everyone. With that, this month's close test is now finished. Right, and that means it's time for a break. Take a rest, everyone, but don't go away. We'll be back with another close test next month. Bye bye. Bye bye. Kangaroos can talk to people. In general, wild animals stay away from humans. They want to have nothing to do with people. However, a special group of kangaroos in Australia acted in a different way. According to a study, the kangaroos talked to people. In the study, scientists gave them a closed box with food. When the animals couldn't open the box, they communicated with the scientists. The kangaroos looked at the scientists. Then they looked back at the food. It was clear that they were gesturing for help. The scientists were happily surprised. Along Taiwan's northern coast, candles rise up out of the ocean. Blocks of tofu float in the water. A queen with a beautiful thin neck watches over everything. All of these wonders were made by nature. You can see them at Yaleo Geo Park. Yaleo is an amazing place. Over many years. Wind and waves created a lot of different shapes there. Rocks look like shoes, fish, or dragons. The most famous one is Queen's Head Rock. Everyone wants to take a picture with it. 
After spending time on the rocks by the sea, visitors can go to Yaleo Ocean World. There, they can learn about sea animals. Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天是用一分钟的时间来复习四个单词，还会造四个例句。同学们，您都准备好没？一分钟计时，开始。第一个单词是袋鼠，袋鼠要怎么说呢？叫做 kangaroo， kangaroo。The man was attacked by a kangaroo。那名男子被袋鼠攻击了。第二个单词呢，它可以用来形容是一般的、普遍的。那在这边我们是学它的名词，也是指一般的意思，它叫 general。general in general 就可以表达一般而言，一般来说。OK， in general it takes it takes him forty minutes to get to work。一般来说啊，他到上班的地方要花四十分钟的时间。第三单词它是当形容词，可以用来形容是野生的，它叫做 wild。wild 像 wild animals 就是野生动物。OK， some wild plants can be used as medicine。有些野生植物是可以拿来。当药使用的。第四单词是沟通的意思，沟通怎么说？叫做 communicate。Communicate. The internet has made it possible for us to communicate with people from around the world. 网络使我们跟世界各地人沟通成为可能。好，太好了！我们在一分钟之内已经复习完四个单词，也造完例句哦。我们成功了，同学们真厉害！那下次见喽，拜拜。See you next time.